I haven't really had a place to put down the finished axle for a while, so to free up the engine hoist I had to make some permanent axle stands. In other words, I had to finish the wheel so I could drop it down on the ground and move it around the garage. Since the car came with steel rims from a Discovery 1, I set out to find a fifth one as a spare. Instead of buying 5 different ones, I'd rather restore the 4 I have plus 1. And with that last one acquired, I sandblasted off some rust and a bunch of layers of old paint, and I also fixed up some scratches before applying the epoxy primer, topped off with the same limestone white as the roof, which also was a factory option back then. And with them on the rebuilt axle, I could finally move that around during the rest of the build, because finding places to put all of the finished parts is getting scarce. After tightening down the breather, I flipped the axle over because it was already living up to its reputation leaking gear oil all over the floor. But I had forgotten to put on the copper washer and tighten down the drain plug, so it was a short-lived leak this time. 